Good morning and welcome in everybody. Before we get into this morning's update, on the start of a new trading week, we look at an absolute implosion across the markets. If you've been paying attention, you were not caught off guard here by XRP. You were not caught off guard here by the rest of the market. I came on and did a special live last night. I did a couple, one proceeding before the drop yesterday morning, and then I came on last night during the you know, consolidation back up to 48 cents or 47 cents, and we talked about how the technical target for XRP after losing that, that spot was 42.31 cents. We drew it a little bit deeper here on the XRP USDT chart. We had an arrow down here, and it led for the technical drop off. And actually, I think it might have been on the other chart. We had a technical drop off here. And we can see it pushed us to the technical target. And let's just straighten this out so it's easier to see. But we did have a technical drop down, and we talked about 42 cents yesterday. Now, a few days ago, I talked about how XRP, and I got hammered by my audience, by most of you. The ones who understand didn't, but a big majority did. Um, I talked about how XRP must hold to have, uh, XRP must hold its critical to avoid a 23% drop. And I got murdered. <laughs> People were not happy when I flipped to my talk. Um, I talked about the uh, death cross in the two hour that could bring us way farther down. I talked about the sub 50 cents with one more rejection. And that's when we were at like 58, 57. And now we're actually in those areas. I'm not going to go back and play anything I said. It's just, it's in the headlines. And I took quite the bashing because everybody said that I went to negative time. And it has nothing to do with negativity. It has to do with facts. The facts said when we broke this pattern formation, once we lost 53.8 cents, that was everything. The technical drop down is actually, might even be a little bit deeper. Let's, let's take a look here. It might actually be a... It might actually be to like 40 cents. No, but we'll just keep it here because 42 point, about 42 cents was that targeted area. I'm not even sure if it actually hit it yet. Nope. It came down and tried to do like a double bottom here at 43.1. But this was the significance of the urgency and the warnings that I've been talking about for a better part of a week now. The fact that we could not get past 63 cents was a problem. Once we came back under 58.1, we knew we flipped bearish. We had the expansion down to 53.8, and that was identifiable on the pattern that was set up. Once it broke that 53.8, we knew it was over. We knew we were looking at a better than 20% drop, and the technical target was about 21%, but there's a 24% drop to that 2020 uptrend, or the six and a half year support now, after hitting all time highs. If we break through 40.8, then we have to go to the 2017 uptrend, and that can bring us all the way to 26 cents. I gave everybody a valuable piece of info when uh, B2 Gold as well went up to three bucks on that return rally. I said, I'm out. I sold. I had a technical target that I drew out myself. And just from this point here, if this was rejected on the 200, which it was, my technical drop was at least $2.73. That was the minimum. Now that we're below there, we know we've invalidated the structure and now we should come down to around $2.56 again. If this breaks down, we could come all the way down here to the green line at $2.31. So I gave everybody the proper information to get out of this. At $3 even on Friday, when it made that push up, I said, get out, I'm liquidated. And look from Friday, just if you would have sold at $3, like I said, and we were in at $2.53, and then I sold at 313, bought back in at 285, and sold at $3. So that's everybody, everybody needed to know on Friday. So I sold out at $3. And now it's down 13% almost for my sale. Almost, it's about 12% at current times. So now it's like, where do you buy in? Not, I'm, not, I'm not interested in buying in at this exact moment. I can tell you that right now. And we'll go over B2 Gold more, but it's not just crypto we do here. We do everything. But 265 actually might not be bad. We'll look at that in a little bit. I'm going to let it reshuffle here a little bit. But we've got to get through XRP's charts. And uh, let's see. Do we have any reading that I want to get to? I don't think so. I don't really think so. Because there's nothing really that pertains particularly to um, XRP here this morning. 
Let's see. Okay, yeah, this is what we needed to. There's only one important update on Ripple, and it has to do with the RLUSD for the most part. And then I think that's all I really want to look at. We'll go through the dilution and everything when it comes to XRP and what we're looking at with total circulating supply. We'll take a look at the volume when we get into the charts. But all you need to do right now is we're being absolutely obliterated. We've come up a little bit now, but we're still down at 45 and a half cents. Bitcoin was down and it tapped a very interesting support level as we've talked about. I thought it was very easy to predict Bitcoin with even our charts because if we broke 58,203, we had to come to 52,752. And a breakthrough of 52,752 put 48,408 on, on notice. And right now we came down to 48,993. So within $500 of Bitcoin, we got that. We got that within 500 bucks. And you're talking about a drop from 69,000. And to be that dead on with support resistance type levels. First drop was 17. It finished with about a 30% drop for Bitcoin. Bitcoin corrected 30%. Now, do we think it's done? We don't know. We don't know. So we'll go through the technicals and we'll get a better idea of this as we go forward. Make sure to hit that like button and I will catch you on the other side of the intro. Good morning, 9.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Monday, August 5th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. For everybody who is begging for XRP to go cheaper, for crypto to go cheaper, did any of you take advantage of this dump? Because obviously it's on a Monday morning. The fact that we dropped it where we already have, the likelihood is, are we already done? Are we ready to recover? Or do we go back down and retest those areas? That's going to be tricky. Bitcoin was down better than almost 9,000 points not too long ago. So actually it was more than 9,000 points. And now it's back. It's gained about 2,300 points right now. Ethereum was down to about 2,197. It's up to 2,290. XRP was down about 43.3 cents. And now it's up to 45.6 nothing to brag about or nothing to write home about but could this be the start of a trend going back the other way let's take a look at the technicals and find out so xrp how did we get to where we're at well unfortunately we lost that 2018 resistance we knew that that was going to be a key area we formed where we had a resistance resistance support support we got an expandable zone. It could have been considered like a pennant flag or a bull flag consolidation but once it broke that 58 one it was a it was a problem that was our warning and our signal for a much bigger drop of up to 28% was once we lost and got rejected as we did at 53.8 cents. And then we had a technical drop down near 42 cents, 41.9 cents. Now, that's the thing. We haven't exactly satisfied that yet. We came close. We came close, but the technical drop is that. But now if we take it from the thinner area over here, because I went from the wider point, if we take it from here, and then we do this, if you look at this, it actually hit it perfectly. 43.9 cents. So I'm gonna keep both, but the first area was 43.9 cents. Second area was 40.8. And we put the wider part just in case we came through the short area, but that's how it looks right now. So it actually came down and satisfied that 43.9 cents easily it easily satisfied that initial technical target so now that we've come down to the technical areas the question is is do we have the testicular fortitude to avoid coming back down here and retesting 40.9 cents on the 2020 uptrend the fact we came all the way back down here it seems kind of bizarre that we wouldn't but sometimes you know we come close and then we don't exactly touch those areas um 
I don't particularly like the way that it built this back out, but I do like the fact that we came down and got that liquidity that we desperately needed. Trading view is being very slow right now. I'm assuming it's because there's a lot of people on it. Um, but after that massive fall, a lot of consolidation back up right now. The question is though, after a fall like this, and I'm not trying to be like, hey, you know, don't get excited because you should get excited. We came down, that was our technical drop point at 42.92 cents. That was the that was the actual formation and it hit this on the USDT chart. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. The fact that it came down here and tapped this, does this mean the pattern has satisfied itself and we came to support and now we can continue on? Because right now we came from resistance at 62 to support at 42.9. And I'm gonna get rid of this because we actually have a chart that shows that. That was just so in case we were looking at that, we wouldn't forget about that area of consolidation. But 42.9 cents hit it perfectly. Hit absolutely perfectly. And if we look at the daily, we are extremely getting into that oversold area. Um, unfortunately, trading view is being so slow. We're almost into oversold. Four hourly. And if you're on trading view this morning, be patient. Be patient because it is taking time because there's probably a lot of activity by a lot of different traders on there this morning. Um, four hourly, as you can see, is massively oversold. So looking at XRP, we came down to the 42 support. Now in order to invalidate this drop, first area we're gonna have to do is get back above 50 cents, but ultimately to avoid this and un kind of rework this, we're gonna get have to get back over about 53 cents. Now, as we find out in the crypto markets and all markets, when you have big drops like this, you can have the volatile swing backs, but a lot of times the initial bounce back ends up being the first step to a W reversal because it's a wider, uh, it's a wider breakdown here. So all markets initially here as everybody wakes up, we should get some buying pressure, but let's see how we work as we get to 10 and 11 o'clock this morning, maybe around 11, 12, to see if the buying pressure continues. Because if we could reverse this in a big way, we could start trending up. But right now, most of the market is showing that I'm topping reverse or the Batman top played down. And now it's gonna have to see the consolidation. Let's read what we have to read about Ripple real quick. So an important Ripple update. Ripple XRP will be fully backed by a segregated reserve of cash and or cash and cash equivalents and redeemable one to one for US dollars. The announcement reads Ripple plans to launch a stable coin called Ripple USD RL USD by the end of 24. Available on XRP Ledger and Ethereum, it promises benefits like deep liquidity for certain trading pairs, instant settlements, and programmable finance. The SEC has criticized RL USD as an unregistered crypto asset continuing its ongoing legal battle with Ripple since 2020. Ripple made waves earlier this year when it revealed that it would introduce a stablecoin pegged to the American dollar. At the time, CEO Brad Garlinghouse stated that the product would serve as the bridge between traditional finance and the cryptocurrency industry. Ripple's team has not provided an exact date for the stablecoin's release, official release. However, they explained it will be available on the XP Ledger and Ethereum and should go live before the end of 24. The team has revealed that the stablecoin will be called Ripple USD. Most recently, the product was added to the company's official website, meaning its launch could be just around the corner. Ripple USD, RLUSD, is being designed to maintain a constant value of $1. Issued on XRP Ledger and Ethereum blockchains, Ripple USD will be fully backed by segregated reserve of cash and cash equivalents and redeemable one-to-one -one for US dollars. The section reads, Ripple's team argued that RLUSD would provide certain benefits such as deep liquidity for selecting trading pairs on centralized exchanges, instant settlements, and programmable finances. The upcoming stablecoin has already become a subject of controversy receiving criticism from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. Several months ago, the regulator labeled it as an unregistered crypto asset. This is not the first confrontation between Ripple and the SEC. The agency sued the firm in December 2020, accusing it and some of its executives of illegally raising more than $1.3 billion by selling XRP in an unregistered security offering. The legal battle passed through multiple developments in the following years, becoming one of the hottest topics in the crypto space. It reached its trial stage in April 24, meaning a resolution could be announced any time. Some industry participants, and there's no trial right now. Some in, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Some industry participants view the SC as the underdog in the dispute, pointing to Ripple's three partial court wins secured through 23. XRP's price reached positivity to each of those, and it will be interesting to see how it performs once its case is officially closed. So 
that was the only real little information on um, what was going on with uh, Ripple. It was just about the stable coin. Right now, we've got volume at 441 million. Previous close 5226, open 5226, and we've got a range between 4316 and 5256, roughly. If we look at the fear and greed index, it's taken quite the bounce down. Fear, whoops, not feed, fear and greed index. And right now it's sitting at 26. I talked yesterday how once it re-updated, it was gonna be way lower. So yesterday it was at 34. Last week it was in the greed at 74. Right now it's getting into the lower fear. We're not in extreme fear, but 26 is very low. The lowest we were last month, well, it's, it's, it's just parring it now with what it's doing today. But that's a big drop from the fear and greed. Just one week ago, it was at 74 and, and getting into the high greed. And now we're down to 26 was getting close to extreme fear. So I love to see the market when there's fear. I think there's better opportunities within fear. And now it's going to be a matter of where does the market go? Is this just a small correction up and then we go farther down? So with XRP, let's look at this one last time. Man, that was a hell of a drop here. 22.15 billion is still underneath though. So looking at the market cap, I'd be surprised if we don't tap. If we don't tap that. Now I understand we're extremely oversold. So there is a chance that we satisfied. We came down to 42.9. There's a chance that we've satisfied our uh, correction. It's all gonna come down to this initial pullback because technically we already had a top a run back up to 47 we came right back down to 42.9 just like we had done earlier at about 2 a.m then by 9 30 a.m we came back and retested it and now we're kind of running off here so since 9 a.m since we i guess double bottomed here because we did tap it again we made about an eight percent run so we're going to see here very quickly this morning, is this the start of the new rally or is this just the overzealous return because we had such a big drop off? Like with Bitcoin, now you're going to have to get back over. This is just a retest at 52,653. A rejection there would more than likely bring you back down and hit finally 48,280 area. So that's definitely uh, something that we have to pass in the short term. Otherwise, we can continue the volatility down. Um, other than that, if you're looking to trade XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, in the USA or worldwide, look in the video description below and or pinned comments and uh, unlock the future of trading. Between Hotcoin and BitUnix, both have the lowest spot and leverage trading fees that you'll find in the USA. Um, you don't need a VPN or KYC to trade on the exchanges unless you're sending or receiving from a bank account. So take advantage of the exchanges right now. Get money on there and deposit it while we have these big drops. The, the return rallies are always extraordinary after we have big dumps. So now we need to see, is this going to continue up? Can XRP come back up and retest the 50 cent psychological level? Or do we need to come further down to 40 cents to tap the 2020 uptrend again? Is Bitcoin now going to get over 52,200 and what is it? 52,280 and start pushing back up? Or do we get a rejection here? These are all the questions we have to ask ourselves, and we're gonna to have to watch this very transparently to see exactly how this moves from here. If you wanna copy trade me, Hotcoin is where you can copy trade me. Right now our $100 challenge, we're up to $233 and some change, which means we're up 133%. So expect to lose money, but you know, still uh, do your best to uh, follow if you would like. Um, other than that, if you want to show personal support, you can always send a YouTube super chat or join Tom's Army and get the emoji badge of me being abducted by aliens in month one. Always appreciate the support, but make sure to hit that like button and share this on social media so that more people can find this community. And by you hitting that like button, we pop up on the YouTube news feed. And whether you've seen my content or not, you'll be able to find your way back here. Last but not least, we'll stop at Ethereum, 2,339 right now. Some of these could have formed this inverse head and shoulder style pattern. I know the left side on that wick is farther down, but this is why we're looking to see if we can finally start reversing here after such a big drop. We've got boom, 
boom, boom. So we'll see. It's either we do come up here and Bic, we still need to retest that 2,858 at some point. That's the gap area. So we'll see if we uh, come back and fill that or if Ethereum in the 30 minute time frame, 2,350 could be a stop. Two hourly right here. If it comes up, 2,582. So pay very close attention. Have a blessed morning and afternoon, everybody. And I'll catch you in the afternoon.